Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Style by Jordana the Series. This is episode six, and today, I'm very excited, we're gonna be focusing on classic pieces for spring. I am gonna be sharing some key pieces that you should, if you don't already have in your closet, you should be investing in for the upcoming new season, and also ways to take your clothes and make them feel more transitional, so you can take tank tops and layer them, and what I'm also gonna be doing this episode is putting some outfits together. I'm not gonna be trying them on, guys, but we're gonna be putting outfits together so you can get a really good sense of ways you can start wearing your clothes as we head into the next season. So I have some pieces, as always, from my own closet that I'm gonna talk about and discuss, and then we'll put it all together for you guys. So up first, this is maybe an obvious and a given, but a trench coat is a classic piece that's not trend focused. It can be worn year after year, and it's literally perfect for springtime. It's good for layering because you can put a number of different options underneath depending on how warm or cold the day is. So I would do it with like a cute little tank or, and I'm gonna show you later, but, or a lightweight sweater. It goes so well with jeans. I love it paired with like wide leg pants. So if you haven't invested in one, I would definitely invest in one. This one is cod. It actually was very reasonable in price. It's like 250 bucks, I think. So you don't have to go crazy on trench coats. However, you guys always ask me which pieces to most invest in if you do want to make investments. And I would definitely say a trench, you could, if you wanted to go higher in spending, then you should. Next up, we have a button down. I My one actually is not a classic button down, so it's not the best example. I couldn't find my other one when I was looking. And as you can see, mine has a lot going on. However, the concept's the same. A button down is obviously, it's a thinner weight material. It's not like a chunky sweater. So as we do start getting into warmer temperatures, please God, then it's perfect. This is a little fancier, so I actually prefer to wear this one for the evening, but it's maybe good to have a couple of options. Next up, so I'm gonna talk about the cropped jacket cardigan moment. It actually obviously is trending right now. We've obviously, the main um, designer doing this is Celine and those ones are beautiful. So it's really having a moment. Lots of brands are doing these like crop, this kind of material, you can get tweed ones. They're wonderful. I actually think that although they're trending in this instant, that they are still classic and worth the investment because they're literally the perfect jacket to wear as you want to throw all your coats away when winter's done with. It's a perfect, perfect thing to invest in. Okay, next up, my favorite of all, the wide leg wool pants. These ones are the Frankie Shop Girl Sew pants. Perfect. I mean, I think these you can wear all seasons, but these ones are a little lighter weight, so they are better and as it gets warmer because they're not as heavy. But a wide leg pant is the perfect classic investment piece for spring. You can wear it with a t-shirt and a belt, sneakers, you can dress it up for dinner. There are so many variations of looks you can do with just this one piece. Okay, next up, we're gonna talk about sweaters, but sweaters that are appropriate for spring. So I have a couple of examples. I get asked a lot from my clients, when, it, when the weather does get warmer, what am I wearing and what can I wear where I don't need to layer as much, where I don't want a jacket, but it's not quite t-shirt weather yet. So I'm gonna show you some examples of really great thinner knit sweaters that are really worth the investment and different styles that I think are very modern and classic. So we've got the first one here. This is obviously a t-shirt version, so you may need something on top of it if it's too warm, but if it's too cold outside. But I like that it's thick, it's cashmere, so it's still really warm, but it's not like, okay, it's the middle of winter and I need a chunky sweater type of warm. So something like this, anything that has a t-shirt, I think is a really nice option. Again, it pairs so well with denim or pants. Another option is, just the kind of the classic polo, and I have a few t-shirt versions of this as well, but obviously the color feels a little more spring-like, so that's a way to brighten up your wardrobe for spring. Also, it's got like a low, you know, it's a little open here, it's got the collar, so it all kind of feels a little more spring-like whilst also still being a cashmere sweater. Okay, so up next, some more pants. Silk pants, I talk about these a lot, and I think there are lots of ways to wear silk pants 
in different seasons. So I definitely think in terms of pieces that you should be investing in your closet, these are a really good staple. This is a lighter option. So if you want to start with black or brown, something that maybe is a bit more practical, but you know, they can obviously be worn on, I've worn these on vacation. I've worn these in New York with a like heavy sweater. I think they really can be so transitional that they're definitely worth investing in. These ones are by Totem. Next up, an item that I wear religiously, cardigans. So these are so great going into spring because you can wear them in different ways. You can wear them fully done up if it's a nicer day. You can wear them as a layering item. You can put something underneath, then something on top of it. And it's obviously all can then be taken off if you get warm. They're just really, they're super classic, super minimal, no fuss. You can, I would recommend getting a few of these, a few different colors, a few different fits, styles, textures. I like this one. This one's a little thinner. Obviously, I'm wearing one right now, um, which is a little thicker, um, and it comes with this matching bralette. So that's another really, and lots of companies do this now where they do like a matching something underneath the cardigan, and it's such a great and easy thing to wear when it's like kind of warm outside, but not super warm outside. I'll start from a clothes perspective. Blazers, obviously I was not gonna have a YouTube episode where I didn't talk about blazer. Um, well again, just super transitional. I mean, these kind of speak for themselves. They are more than worth the investment. This one is actually Zara and it's one of my favorite ones and you can actually find some really good ones at Zara. So I would start there um, and then kind of work your way up. But again, going into spring, you can just change out the colors a little for some of the darker shades you were wearing in winter Olive green is a bit lighter for spring. They do some beautiful powder blue ones or even like a creamy neutral one you could get. So it's just about like having enough variety of color in the pieces that you kind of already have in your closet and the basics and staples that are already in your closet. Okay, let's talk about shoes. This is a hot topic at the moment in my DMs on Instagram and with my clients, what shoes to wear for spring and how early on can you start wearing these shoes? So I think some classic investment worthy pieces for spring are ballet flats, loafers, a really great sneaker, maybe in a lighter shade to the darker shades you're probably wearing in winter, a slingback mule, uh, I mean like a closed toe one, and any variation of like those type of things. So I'm gonna show you some examples. So denim flat, obviously denim is always trending for spring and we're seeing it a lot now in accessories, bags, shoes, lots of other things, denim jackets, etc. I think it's worth the investment, although it's trending, it trends every spring, which means that this would still be trending next spring, it was trending last spring, so I think something denim is definitely worth the investment from an accessory standpoint. Next up, we have our slingback pump. Um, again, I chose like a lighter colorway, so it feels a little more spring like. I think I got these last spring actually, but because it's obviously open at the back, it just kind of feels a little lighter than you know wearing a fully closed in pump like you may have been in winter. It obviously, feels much lighter than wearing a boot, which we've had to wear all winter. So, something like this, it doesn't have to have the print, it can be a little more basic, but something like this is perfect as the weather changes. Next up, a flat swing back, same concept, but obviously just more for daytime. Um, I also love ballet flats as well that actually have the back to them. I just don't have an example to show you, but anything like this, you could do a mule that's completely backless, but this type of shoe that's obviously closed at the front and then open at the back, it's perfect for the transitional weather. Lastly, a good sneaker. I would suggest as we go into warmer weather to buy something in a lighter color. Um, these are light, you can definitely go even lighter than that. Outside of all white, I mean like a cream or like a nice tan and white, something like that. It's perfect day to day, weekend, whatever you have going on. Something like this is just feels lighter than obviously something in a darker shade. Okay, now that we've gone through what we should have or what's good to have in our closets for spring, I'm going to put some of these clothes into different outfit ideas and just to give you a sense of how to reenact things as we head into the new season. Okay, up first, I'm going to show you some different ways to wear the trending cropped jacket. 
This one is pretty plain, but it has some really beautiful detail. It's by Bash. I like the thickness of it. It's kind of perfect for spring. Um, you could also have like a tweed one or a super simple, like lightweight wool one or something like that. But I'm just going to show you examples of different ways to wear them. So one way I would do, I'd do a simple tank underneath. And then I would pair it with a really nice wide leg because this is a high rise. So as I mentioned in my previous YouTube episode, the high rise is going to stop here. The jacket's going to fall here. It's going to be very good in terms of proportions on your body. And then I think for spring, I would just keep it super simple and do it with a flat swing back. Another idea for the cropped um, jacket. So if you don't want to wear something underneath it and it's warm enough that you don't need any layers, you could just have it all the way buttoned up. And I've actually worn it like this with denim and it just looks very minimal and timeless. So we could do that with a kind of darker wash. Because sometimes I think darker wash looks really nice with such a ivory um, sweater. And then I think this is where I would bring in the denim flat. You could do this. If you don't want to do it all done up, you could simply add something underneath it. So either a t-shirt or a tank, or if it was a little colder, you could do something like this underneath it and keep it open, and then all the colors kind of still work together. And then you have another layer for if it's a little colder outside. Now I'm gonna show you a few ways to style our trench. So it's obviously a layering piece. So underneath it, you can do a couple of things if it's warm. Again, you can keep it super simple, do a tank top. I've only got one tank top down here to show you guys, but you can obviously do whichever color tank you feel like. You could again do a dark denim, and then we could add for daytime, we could add our sneaker into things like this. Another way to wear, if you want to smarten it up, maybe this is a work look instead of a more casual sneaker look, I would put a button down underneath it like this and then depending on the nature of your job or where you're going you could just put it with denim or this could actually look really nice if you wanted to be smart with a wide leg pant maybe not gray gray is the only option i have down here but you could do uh, a black you could keep it all super monochromatic and do a lighter color and then in terms of a shoe if you are doing a wide leg pant again you could throw in a sneaker, if you, again, you want to make it slightly more dressed down. I love wide leg pants with a sneaker. You could basically, you could kind of do any one of these options. You could do, obviously, the patent flat or just the regular flat. If you want to be super fancy, you could do the sling back heel. So there are loads of different shoe options for the trench, for the wide leg pant, for going into springtime. But let's have some fun with the silk pants because I often find that people get a little intimidated by silk pants. They're not quite sure whether to just dress them up or wear them for dinners or what season to wear them in. So talking about spring, silk pants, I would do a few different things. You could put it, this one doesn't, the colors okay together. Maybe you want to do a little lighter, but I would do it just with a cardigan. I would maybe keep the cardigan done up, do the silk pant, keep it super casual and then just do like a ballet flat with it or you could do the same but with the heel so obviously all the colors work together it's hard to hold this you guys um if you want to have something that was a little thicker on top you could do like we spoke about before like thicker sweaters that are t-shirts and stuff so you could do this you could tuck it in and again, add a flat, maybe this is where you want to add like a ballet flat just to make it a bit more interesting. Or you could offset the cream and do like a black flat. I don't want to show you, but it could then a black handbag with it. And then if you wanted needed something on top, you could do something black on top. So you kind of offset with the light versus dark. You could also do it with a simple shirt. And again, keep it more casual i think i would do this I'd do it this this and i would keep it casual well i guess as casual as this look is um, and pair it just with a flap instead of a heel okay last up let's talk about blazers 
This is a specific colour, so it's not going to go with everything I have here, but just to give you some general ideas. Obviously, it's a great layering piece, so if you want it for dinner, I would pair it with a tank top with just simple jeans, and then, depending on where you're going, you could do a heel, or, again, a nice cool ballet flat with it, a denim one specifically. Um, if it was colder and you needed more layers, you could do a sweater underneath. I'm just choosing this one because the colours go so well, but again, this is where this comes into play again, and then it's just this whole idea of layering constantly, obviously, for spring. So you could do this, this. I think, again, I would probably just pair this with denim, because I think it probably works best, and then maybe this is where we do a sneaker daytime so something like this we could also I really like the idea of putting uh, blazers with silk pants the ones I have probably aren't the best color to demonstrate but just to show you guys if you wanted like a smart evening option in spring you could do a beautiful pair of silk pants with a blazer I would just do a tank underneath and then some type of peel Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Hopefully it gave you some ideas of pieces that you need to be investing in for spring and then ways to style and wear those pieces. Um, as always, you can follow me on Instagram at Jordana Sharp for more um, styling tips, tricks, ways I style myself and my clients. Obviously, as we head into spring, I will be styling some of these pieces of myself plus some new pieces that I've invested in. Um, so continue to follow along and thank you for watching.